Hello, everyone. Welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Darissa. If you're new to the channel, I hope that you are doing great. In today's episode, I would like to cover something very similar to my previous episode about restriction rules. However, today I would like to talk about scoping rules. I know that they sound very similar, and these are two both very new features in Salesforce. However, there is a, a difference between these two rules. Now, if we look at the restriction rules based on the name of it already you can you can tell that this will restrict users to access something in salesforce whereas a scoping rule is basically designed to sort it that is more relevant to the user and they can still access these records in salesforce they're not going anywhere these are not for they're not hiding any sensitive data here but we are just scoping it and narrowing down just so our users could focus on more relevant records now, it is a new feature in Salesforce, and uh, I haven't really used it as much, but let's look into the into the scoping rules today. Now, again, I have opened this Salesforce help document uh, just to make sure that uh, we are covering the basics as well here. And uh, you are maybe you will not see scoping rules, just like restriction rules in some objects. Now, here you can see scoping rules are available for custom objects and the account case, contact event, lead opportunity and task standard objects which is great. It is scoping rules are on more objects than restriction rules. And very similar to restriction rules, we have scoping rules that are just hiding. Um, remember, they're not hiding uh, permanently. They're just, they're reducing visibility of these records on list views, reports, SOCL. And uh, I'm sure that we will see a very similar graph here in tasks. Yes, it is right, actually right here. And uh, with scoping rules, again, when we are looking at the sharing access or access to all records in Salesforce, we have our OVD, then our sharing mechanisms that uh, are configured by Salesforce administrators and sharing based on the role hierarchy, sharing rules and other tools. <laughs> and uh, then we have scoping rules, this new feature where filter, filtered records are based on this new rule criteria that will be just not visible in the list views and the reports then we have our scoping rules that are not hiding records permanently but only reducing visibility so your users could focus again on the most important records for them that are more relevant for them as well and um, here in the end you can see filtered records so your search, lookup, list view, and report, so cool and so so as well will be updated. But if you if you know that you want to find some records in Salesforce and it sits at the specific account, then your users can go to that account and they will have visibility. And um, see, let's create a new rule. I think I can use something very similar to my previous example that I used in restriction rules. And um, Again, here you can use as well the same criteria type, either user criteria or per permission criteria. And interesting thing is that here you can also use it in cases and you can use it in account. So maybe let's go to cases. As cases, we can have a large amount of cases in Salesforce and it can get a bit, a bit hectic working with cases unless you have organized list views, but even then maybe not everyone is creating their own individual list view with only their cases. In that case, you can use reports as well, but let's see, uh, we have our scoping rules. So with cases, if I want to clean up my view, then I could fully focus only, or our users could fully focus on cases that are relevant to them where they are, the case owners and um, we could now this rule I could apply only to su support users I don't want to apply it to everyone because not everyone is working with cases and I will call it support users view and I will make it active and now I will select the user criteria based on their user profile I would like to, yes, profile ID. No, actually, I would like to select user. 
profile name. Don't really like using profile IDs as we know that that profile IDs will be changing. We have different IDs in our production environment and in our sandbox environment. And um, it would be easier to use user profile name if that would be an option. Uh, I will use uh, user criteria as user department and string equals support for support department. Now, I don't know if this exists in this environment. I'm just making this up, but I would like to apply this rule to all employees, all users in support departments, because they, these are the guys who are working with cases every day. Now, in this example, I decided to select the user criteria where I want to help support you support users to narrow down the cases that they're seeing every day in Salesforce and the user user department equals support. So I would like to apply this rule only to support users in Salesforce. And the support will be, let's imagine that all support are in this department. And then uh, we want to narrow down cases that come up in the search or maybe in a uh, in related list, everywhere they're looking at. We want them to focus on their cases and the case owner ID will be current user ID. Now, this is just an example to show that you can navigate around these field values. You can also just like with the restriction rules, you can use permission criteria. With these changes, I am not restricting support users from other cases. They can still find them in Salesforce. However, now we are making sure that the search bar and the list view will show and will suggest their cases that are more relevant to them first. And then the rest, they can always find other cases. And this was a quick video about scoping rules. I hope that you found this video useful. And again, scoping rules will not completely hide these records from your users. They will just make a better suggestions to your users if they if um, they are within your criteria, if this rule applies to these users and uh, they can focus more on the records that they're working on, let's say accounts. If they work with a lot of accounts, then you make sure that the first suggestions in the search bars or in the related list will be their accounts. And uh, it is a good tool. Let's see, maybe it will even improve and we'll have access to other standard objects as well, even though we already have more access done with the restriction rules. I hope that you found this video useful and thanks a lot for getting this far in the video and I will see you next time. Take care.